trying to make the most bad liquid to put a knife in to make a reaction. So we're gonna go, a little bit of bleach. We're gonna go, and I may well accidentally make a bomb. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Righto, and then we've got some vinegar, some rice wine vinegar. Nice. And then some salt, we need some salt. Bit of salt there. And then some water just to make it all go together. Righto. So this nasty mixture here should be very unfriendly to a stainless knife. So we're gonna be testing Magna Cut, which, oh, ugh. Magna Cut, which um, I could only ever get that little tip to actually rust from sitting in proper salt slurry. Sorry, I'm yelling, I'm in a bit of a loud room. The rest is just maybe a slight, slight swirling to the blade. That's all I could get. Uh, and then we're just putting Vanax in. Vanax is like a, I've still got writing on it from last time I did a cut test. Vanax, which is uh, a very uh, stainless steel. And we've got some S35VN, nice baseline steel. And then we've got D2, a steel that should rust. All right, Whew. let's get into it. Hopefully I don't die. Okay, so that's definitely a smell. We'll uh, see how it goes. I'm just gonna set them out on the table here. Whew, where there's some fresh air. And yeah, so we're gonna see how they've, they've withstood it over the next couple of days, maybe. I'm gonna give it a good long time. Something should happen. That's a very reactive mix of things, surely. I just hope none of these are like low key rust removers. I read an article, what things will rust steal. And it was bleach, vinegar, salt water. Um, yeah, I guess we just have to see. Alrighty, so these knives have been in this solution for two and a half days now. Um, sometimes you do one of these tests and you think, have I gone a bit too far? <laughs> Let's have a look at how they're traveling. First of all, try and pick which one's the D2 knife. <laughs> oh no. So you can generally tell the most by the coloration of the water as to how much uh, damage, I guess, has been done to the knife. So the S30V knife here, you can see the water is the most cloudy, like it's, um, there's definitely more new stuff in that water than when it left, uh, than when I left it. So obviously more stuff has come off the knife. The D2 has rusted that water like crazy. So there is obvious rust on the blade. And uh, as you can see, it's permeated throughout the water. The Magna Cut knife and the Vanax knife. So I'm going to absolutely confirm, yes, the Vanax knife has definitely left the water much cleaner than the Magna Cut knife. It's definitely still more, um, more opaque. And there's even, I think it's even evaporated. It's, it's lost more water, so it should actually be concentrated as well. But instead, it's kind of still the cleanest of the water. But yeah, then the, uh, the uh, Magna Cut is still very much, you know, Definitely doing a little bit better than these two here, I would say. Uh, let's look at the knives though. Vanax. Magna Cut. <laughs> D2. So it's interesting, it truly is oxidization generally, because it's only as the blade is exposed to oxygen as the water levels receded through evaporation is what's really done the damage to the actual blades. And then the S35 VM there. So I think it's pretty clear. Interesting to even get some rust on the Vanax. However, that being said, it may mostly be coming from the thumb stud, which may not be made of Vanax. In fact, I'm fairly certain that you wouldn't make a thumb stud out of Vanax. You wouldn't need to, unless, of course, they were going for a thousand percent everything, which sometimes they do. So I really don't know. Uh, the Magna Cut has some. What I think is main, mainly superficial rust with the exception of this spot here, the D2, goes without saying. And then the S35VN has yeah, just a general 
patchwork smattering of rust as well. So I think if I was to put them in order, you'd go from top to bottom being from best to worst. I would pretty happily lay them out like that. But what I'm gonna do now is give them a bit of CLR and clean them off and see how bad they actually are for, as in, you know, you've accidentally left your knife in, <laughs> in that and you go, oh no, that was an accident. I better clean it off with some CLR. So we're gonna do that now and see what the actual long-term damage is. So that's CLR, be loosen all that rust in there or just let it all sit and soak for a half hour or something and then we'll take it to a yeah, just a rough cloth or a paper towel or something and see how they all shine up again. Alrighty, so the four knives after that pretty brutal uh, long-term submersion in bleach, vinegar, and rather salty water. The Ganzo had a dramatic sort of color change from the part that was in the water. And then as the rust sort of, or as the water receded down, there was heavy rust that built up here. But interestingly enough, that's the part that hasn't now turned to the, the blackened finish. So sort of that vinegar has, that's why my uh, K390 Spydercos look the way they do, because vinegar does add a blackened uh, finish to, to carbon steels and whatnot. So the D2 was obviously the most affected. Uh, the next most affected was the S35VN, not by a huge amount, but just in terms of having a bit of rust that I can't quite easily scrub off as well as I could with the, um, the, uh, you know, the CLR even after soaking it. There's still some deeper rust there that's in there, but you know, really, it's not too bad. The main lesson here is that even if you do rust your knife, it's not uh, not an unreversible process, really. Uh, then the Magna Cut. So the Magna Cut is basically back to being great, apart from there's one little bit of blackened edge down there that's kind of looks a bit similar to that that tip there that I did last time. So just a little tiny bit, but in terms of like the surface finish, it's all pretty much gone back to to factory um, pretty nicely. So. All good. And then the Vanax, uh, once I polished it off, it all looks completely normal again. The Vanax must, it must have just been the thumb stud uh, that was not as stainless as the blade steel itself. So uh, yeah, Vanax is of course, well, you know, unsurprisingly, seemingly the most corrosion resistant to, to what is a pretty nasty uh, solution in terms of corrosion uh, causing uh, substances. So that's the video. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.